All right, welcome back to Currency 365. It is January 23rd, 2018, altcoin mania. Man, um, what a difference the, the day makes from the last video I did to the video that we're doing right now. The markets have turned up. Uh, we might have, I'm not sure. I guess we had some good news or something. I don't know. I know that 10,000 held for Bitcoin, which was a positive sign for a lot of people. And some people are, are buying the market now. Okay, so and I'm pretty sure we had some news and stuff come out, came out as well. Um, I actually went and got me some new socks. So I really feel, I feel really good right now. <laughs> you know, when you always get yourself some new stuff. I got myself some batches of new socks and I, my feet feel really good. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and also uh, follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and, and, and uh, Steam it. Okay. And if you follow me on Twitter, I did make this post for you guys. G Money was able to help me out because I was like, where's my titanium bars, you know, and on my Ether wallet? And uh, so he was able to help me out. I never got this information from titanium. And I'm pretty sure, so I did post it on my Facebook, Currency365 as well, to help you guys out. If you paid in Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ethereum or Dash or Bitcoin Cash, we didn't, I didn't get any notification from them uh, about needing, you know, to add the custom address. So I'm not sure if that's going out later or what. I, mean, I don't, I don't know, but I didn't get that. Those of you guys that paid with Ether on, on my Ether wallet, you got this information already. It was already, you got the information because it was instant. It was there and blah 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 blah. Okay, so make sure if you're on, if you, uh, if you had purchased titanium bars, you you go, you just copy this address and uh, put bar in and then put decimal and then put 18. Uh, for the decimal, the decimal is 18, okay, and then hit save, and your your bars will show up, your titanium bar will show up uh, in your in your little uh, portfolio downline, okay, right underneath. So cool, so that was awesome to see my bars there. And of course, I'm wait, I'm still waiting for the bounties and the referral bonuses and and the other bonuses that I might get uh, free, maybe some more free tokens from the uh, you know executives and CEOs, and I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. We'll see. But for those that are waiting on your referral bonuses, if you have referred people, uh, that's supposed to happen. You know, by Saturday we're supposed to see it in there. So they're gonna they'll make an announcement. Uh, you just have to log back into your uh, your account and your Titanium account, and you should be able to see. And also, my Ether wallet should be there in my Ether wallet sometime by Saturday. I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure they'll they'll address it and they'll talk to us about it. Okay, um, and let me know about Digitech as well, guys, because I didn't get in the ICO. I couldn't get in the ICO. It, it completed in like 19 minutes or something like that. So uh, for you guys that are in Digitech, uh, they did on Twitter post a uh, custom address. So I did do that. So I do have the Digitech custom address on my Ether wallet. And so if I did get any, um, you know, referral bonuses and stuff, uh, it would be in there at some point in the future. I don't, I don't know, but let me know in the comment section if you got your Digitech coins tokens and if you got your bar tokens as well. Okay, so let's get started here. And this is Litecoin. So this is started with Litecoin. Look at that. That's a nice uh, Litecoin's trying to set up a reversal, uh, a nice reversal candle here for Litecoin's trying to. They're trying to close. Well, it's not. Eh, you know, it needs. To, it, if it came down a little bit more, it'll be a really clear reversal candle. This is more of a of a bullish, you know, bullish doji. You know, what I mean, uh, this is more of a bullish doji than a reversal right now. So looking good for Litecoin. Came right up back up to where it closed, um, and it's uh, just chilling right in that area. So nice little bullish doji right now for Litecoin. Um, Bitcoin, same thing. The bulls bought up the bought the dip, and now it's just holding right here. Let's see if it can close right here. You know, at the top. Let's see if it can close right at the top here. Uh, if that does, then we might come start making our way back up. Okay, and see how that plays out. Um, let's look at Bitcoin Cash. Okay, same thing. Same chart for Bitcoin Cash, and then let's look at Ethereum. Okay, same thing. Bulls bought the dip. Still red for Ethereum though, but bulls bought the dip. Nice, uh, nice Doji there for Ethereum as well. Okay, so let's go to a Verge. Okay, buy signal came in for Verge, but a very weak one. So, you know, as long as it stays above this 50-day moving average, we're really good for Verge. I see that the, uh, 
you know, the 30 day moving average is starting to creep down though. We, you know, cause that means we got to get it back up here. You know, we got to keep it up here or, or at least keep it right here, you know, where it's at so we can start maintaining straight away. Uh, but you know, so we still have a long way before it even crosses over. So we still have enough opportunity that if the markets start to go up, uh, that we'll correct ourselves without even no fear here. So it's still pretty good for Verge. Um, let's come on down. A D E X, eight X. Okay, nice green day for eight X today. Get back up above the thirty day moving average. We'll get really exciting again, and uh, maybe we'll try to test these highs up here. Okay, so we got our low high, higher low pattern intact, and now we want to see our higher high. Okay, so let's go on to ARC. Ooh, look at ARC. ARC is exploding. A, you know, ADEX, ARC is showing you off right now. Okay, so low, high, higher low pattern intact. We're about to test. We did actually almost try to test these highs right here, and we didn't. We, we started selling call before we got up there. But, uh, yeah, so we got like right there. So you can see that we got almost to this wick right up here. So, yeah, so we need to, we need to, we need to close at the top and then break this uh resistance right here which is uh point zero 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 six one one four six okay so once we do that if we close at the top we'll probably break that tomorrow and continue higher as long as the market stay green let's go to bit shares bit shares uh, gr green day for bit shares we're still way underneath though um we're still oversold but we still need to break out and uh, close above this 50 day moving average to even start any type of momentum here. We do have a low high, higher low pattern intact right now. And so now we need to see a higher high, which we need to close above this 50 day moving average to get that. Um, okay, so cloaks going down a little bit here after this big massive pump and dump. <laughs> okay, and then we had a night, we had a uh, another attempt to break this uh 30 and then today we've just been hanging right in tight right in here so we're getting tighter uh as you can see on the charts a lot of the charts are, are you know the uh the, the candles and stuff are getting very tight now except for uh dash here dash actually had a long wick today nice long wick and the middle a lot of fighting going on between the bulls and the bears here and we're sitting right in the middle so yeah, nice little long, and this could be the end. This could mean that the end is here uh, for the, uh, you know, and the reversal is coming because you can see we have one here, and it was a fight, and the and the bears took over, and they dropped it down. Now we see the same thing here at the bottom, and right underneath the 50. So this could be a reversal that we're that we're that the bulls are going to take back control, and we're going to go back up. And we have to break this 30-day moving average though. So we'll see how that plays out. We should get a MACD cross if that is going to happen. If the bulls are going to take back control. Um, these charts thing, all these chart stuff is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, for those that don't like charts, this is probably boring for you guys, but it is exciting that you know, I mean, to see if you're making money. That you know, that's basically why you guys are here to make money. We're all we're here to make money, and some of you guys are gonna be, you're gonna, a lot of you guys, almost every single person. Matter of fact, ninety percent of you guys, because I know people are gonna make dumb mistakes, right? We all do that. You know, and so I'm not going to say 100%. I say 90% of you guys watching, if you own Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash, if you just own some of those, you know, or my top one, two, and three uh, coins, if you just own my tier one, two, and three coins, you should make seven, eight, nine, ten figures this year just by owning those coins, right? So, but I know that I can't say 100% because I know people are going to make dumb decisions. They're going to, they're going to, and, and some of you guys are not even going to make dumb decisions. You're just going to miss on something, right? And it might cost you. You might, might cost you six figures. You know, you might put your money in the ICO and the ICO looks promising and good and they run off with the money and there's nothing you can do about it, right? So, and you might, you might have put in six figures, you know what I mean? And that might have hurt you. But even if you do that, the market is going to be so green. You know what I mean? That you will be able to even bounce back and still make seven figures uh, this year. You know what I mean? As long as you have other incomes coming in or you have a job or a career or something that you can still put money in. So, okay. So, um, but if you guys just hold the big four, 
and then maybe the top tier one, two, and three coins that I mentioned. If you just hold those, you're gonna, you should, just no way you can't make six, seven, eight, nine, ten figures this year. No way, unless you're playing with like twenty bucks or something like that, right? And you put five bucks in each of them. That's just, just you know, what I mean, then that's something different. Um, Civic Clear Reversal uh, candle is is in today, right now, but that can change. We still have some time in the. And the uh, before the uh, bar is completed, and so now it's going back and forth between that uh, reversal candle and a uh, just a green candle, a doji, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so Civic back down into the uh, oversold uh, situation here, and you can see we have we're going down, up, down, and now we're just going sideways. So I'm, I'm guessing this pattern has stopped. Okay, because now we're in going sideways. You can see it here, down, and then we went this way, up, and this way. So now we're just holding here. So we, I guess it's trying to figure out if it's going to go up big or down big. Um, hopefully, we're hoping it's, it's going to go up big, okay, and, and not down big. Okay, so Civics waiting to see what happens here uh, as they put these uh, dojis in. So we got some dojis here. Let's see what happens. For Civic going forward, I know I know uh, it's supposed to make a nice another big move, so we'll see. Okay, Decred holding really strong here. Green day today after two down days, we had three here, and then we had a green day, and then we had a red, then we went up again. So let's see if we have a uh, maybe red day tomorrow, and then another green, and then back up a green day and and break these highs. I don't know, but right now we're still going down on the. Uh, on the blue line, still a sharp downward trend here. And uh, the orange is going down as well, but not as sharp as the blue. But the chart's holding up very well. We haven't even touched the 30-day moving average, as you guys already know. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, EOS, everything else is up nicely today, and EOS is red, you know? So it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see how EOS closes. But EOS, just hold, I mean, the chart looks absolutely phenomenal, right? Uh, it's and I think it's red because we did have a sell signal here. And uh, so now we have to work our way out of that. So that's probably why this is red today. So we just got to work out of the sell signal. We'll probably get another MACD cross back over and get us a nice buy signal. And we're going to break this. Uh, we're going to break this handle. So here's your cup. Here's your handle. And then waiting for the breakout. It, you know, this was too early. You usually want to see three or four, you know, three days and then a breakout. So let's see if we get a MACD, a big MACD cross tomorrow and we break this handle and we get, uh, we, go, we go above this high right here. I don't know what high this is. What is this? The high was 0 0.0013210. Okay. So that's the high we want to break. Uh, so here's your, here's your high. Then you have your cup and then this side, the right side doesn't break above the, uh, the left high. And then you got your handle, and then we then you break out with a with a bull uh, with a bull MACD cross. So let's see if we get a MACD cross here, bull movement here for EOS tomorrow. Oh, and then the next candle here is hopefully this is the breakout candle, and we break this high, and we actually go into blue skies for EOS. I want to see this thing run uh, massively uh, in blue skies. Um. Okay. Now that's on Bitfinex. Everybody else's chart looks different. Than this one, so you got you got to put that in. The, this is only on <laughs> Bitfinex. It's not on the other charts. I don't know what it, what you guys charts look like for EOS on um, Bitfinex. It, it already has this cup and handle. Uh, some other charts, it's it's it, they're saying that it's going to be making a cup and handle in the future. That one already has a cup and handle intact right now. So all depends on what chart you're looking at. Digibyte starting to go green two days in a row now. Looks like it's going to start to pick it up. Nice reversal here. So you might start to pick it up for Digibyte. A little MACD cross happened there, but it's a weak buy signal. Oversold, and uh, maybe we start picking it back up. we got to close above this 30-day moving average to get real serious about the, with the bulls. And then maybe we'll come back up here and test these highs. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, they're in classic. Okay. So we had the 30-day uh, moving average go Go back up in there, so it's looking good. So everything's looking good here for Ethereum. Okay, we and we got one of these as well. So we something big is coming either up or down. We got it one here, and we went up big. So we're we're gonna see it soon. We're gonna see it soon. We're either gonna go up big or down big, and it looks like we're gonna go up. You know, according to this, uh, this chart looks really strong for Ethereum Classic. So hold on, I got mine. 
hold on to your Ethereum Classic, and uh, just wait it out, man. I think we're going to see big, big numbers for Ethereum Classic this year. Um, <clears throat> IOTA, let's see here. IOTA, t -t 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 we did get the bearish uh, chart here, and you can see it did. It's, it's going to start pushing. What's going to happen is it's going to start pushing the price down if we don't break above it. Um, so right now, we're just waiting patiently for a MACD cross, night, green day today, and uh, that's it for IOTA, man. We're just going to hang on here until we get a MACD cross and the Bulls want to play with this and get back over here because that's the only way we're going to break this bearish chart is when we get back over here on, on, on top of it. Okay, so somewhere like uh, 0 .000, 0 .00026, you know, we just stay steady between 26, 27, we'll, we'll, you know, this can change, you know, and it will cross back over. Right now, IOTA has a bearish chart. NEO, look at that, continuing to down step its way. So we, we, we broke another support here, down stepping our way. Okay, slowly and slowly uh, down stepping our way. We might start to go in a channel now, or we might just continue downward. Okay, so I don't know how we are in oversold now. We've come down to oversold, but we are just down stepping our way, which tells you that this chart is very, very strong, as you can see. But there's a gap, and the gap always closes. So we will close this gap at some point. Okay, it could be right over here. We will, we, we will close this gap. Now, you can see that the 30-day moving average is starting to rise quickly, and it's going to meet it somewhere around, you know, somewhere around here. It'll probably meet it. Okay, so then the gap will close. Okay, so I'm still not in NEO, and I know I should be, but I'm not in it yet. So I'll let you guys know when I finally get some NEO. <laughs> Uh, I'm kicking myself because I don't have any capital to get any so many yo. So I'm like, how am I gonna get so many yo if I don't have any capital to get so many yo? You know what I mean? So it's like, sheesh, I gotta wait, man. Gotta wait. Um, let's see here. This is OK Cash. Sell so signal came in the other day, and we had a nice green day today for OK Cash. We gotta close above this 30-day moving average to get back on track. But right now we're just sitting right in between there. Um. Let me still go holding. We did break below that 30-day again, but we're holding strong. We're holding above it, okay? We had a green day today as well so far, and uh, we might get a MACD cross up tomorrow, or we might go no neutral first and then get a MACD cross. So we're holding. We're now going sideways. That's a good sign, and hopefully this, uh, uh, you know, this drop is over, and we're going to go. So we might go sideways and then start to come back up um 10x pay oh nice green day today okay so we got to close above this 50 day moving average though so close above this 50 come up here and then close above this 30 and then we're back on track for 10x this was a good time this was a good area you know for those that are long in 10x uh this was a good area to grab some more 10x you know um for you traders it wasn't it wasn't really worth the risk um, Qtum, back over the 30-day uh, moving average, been staying there for three days now, so that's a good sign. Um, and, of course, it started with this big bull move, and then we've just been holding above that 30-day moving average. Sell signal did come in, but we're still holding above the 30-day moving average, which is a good sign. Okay, so let's see if we hold that, and if we hold it, then uh, we continue to go higher. we gotta break this, uh, we got to break this uh, line right here. There you can see that there's resistance right here. We got to break that resistance line. Once we do, the fun begins again for for uh, Qtum. Um, let's see here. Let's go to Salt. Salt's up today, barely. I mean, it's, it's up barely today. Okay, still underneath the uh, 20. We got to get it above this 50-day uh, moving average to have some fun, um, to get the fun back in Salt. Okay, so nice long aggravating downward trend here and it looks like hopefully it's almost coming to an end uh for many of these coins is you know within the next maybe by this weekend it will be confirmed that the the, uh, the downward trends are finally over it is guys and girls it's painful right it's painful to go through 
30, 30 days of, of downward trend and there's nothing you can do about it, <laughs> you know, except for HODL, right? Now, if you're a trader and you trade uh, in, in and out, then okay, fine, you know, you, you're good. But for those that are HODLing, like me, and it's pain, it's very, very painful, right? But you, well, we, we're used to it now, you know, but it is, it's, come on, 30 to 30 days of, of just downwardness, it's just, it's really painful, you know what I mean? Um, so you got to find other things to do, you know? Like today, I bought some socks, okay? <laughs> um, let's see here. So this is Cycoin. Cycoin is looking good. Staying above the 30-day moving average. Really strong chart. And I want to see a, a big MACD cross. And I want to see this thing go back up here and test these highs right up here. Well, first test is going to be right here at 418 Satoshis. Okay? So let's see what Cycoin does. Looks like it's ready to make a move here at some point. As long as Bitcoin holds steady, Cycoin is going to make another move. Steam, low, high, higher low pattern is intact and uh, sitting above the 30-day moving average as well. A lot of people are locking up steam and the steam power. So, you know, this coin at some point, and I believe the really, really big move, it could be in the summer. You're right, because all these coins are going to be down really, really much, and Steam is going to be a platform where people can make are going to be making money, right? So they're going to be making you're going to be making money for posting still on Steam, and people are going to be like, and promoters, all the promoters on YouTube are going to be like, yo, I'm making money on Steam while everything is going down. I'm still making you know two thousand a day on Steam because I'm posting my content, I'm upvoting it, I have my team upvoting it. And uh, I'm still making like two thousand dollars a day, even though the markets are going red, right? So Steam's gonna be one that people are gonna be talking about a lot in the summer because it's going to be a passive income that a lot of people can can or be making money on while the markets are in red uh, throughout the summer. Um, so I expect Steam to do very well. We're looking for a hundred bucks at least, but you know I think it can definitely go more than that uh, by the end of the year. I mean, it could definitely surprise us and pull a dash and go go to a thousand, but we'll see how that plays out. Um, so we got this. That means something big is coming uh, at some point. So we're either gonna go up big or we're gonna reverse ourselves and go up big or we're gonna go down big. And because we can see that we're holding this trend here, uh, you know, if, if this if this holds here above the thirty, then we're probably gonna go up big. And test that ten dollar mark again. Uh, I don't even think we were at ten dollars before. We were at, I think we got up to like what, six, seven, maybe seven dollars for Steam. And before we came back down, I can't remember. Did we test ten dollars for Steam? I don't remember. Um, I know we were probably are at seven dollars before we started coming down. But we're definitely gonna see. We're about. We're gonna definitely test ten dollars here within the next three, two to three weeks. We'll definitely test ten dollars for Steam, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> Stratus. Okay, looks like we're we're trying to close above that 30-day moving average for Stratus, and bring our butts right back up here and continue to go higher. Cause Stratus should be over a hundred dollars by now. You know, it's, it's uh taking a little bit longer. We do have a buy signal that came in. It's a weak one, oversold, uh, but it did come in, so we had a nice green day for day. And maybe we close up here, and if we do, uh, then we'll probably come up here and test this. Uh, um, area right up in here where we got a lot of resistance um, next is uh, Monero okay stair stepping our way down a little bit reversal came in so we're coming down and here's support right here at uh, what line is this somewhere like 0 .027 0 .028 maybe somewhere around there so we got support there so yeah we should be able to hold that in my opinion uh, and then we start making our way back up for Monero. Okay, so we're in the blue is in the oversold, and the orange is coming down to the twenty. Um, let's look at the okay. So this is vert. This is vert coin. We have your low, high. Excuse me. Let me put it back. You got your low, high, higher low pattern intact, and we had a nice green day for vert coin today. Okay. So right now we're just holding that steady right now. We did have a sell signal coming back here, but now we're at neutral signs right below the 80. If we bust through this 80 with another MACD cross, we're coming up here. Okay, we're going to come up here. So let's see how this plays out for Vertcoin. 
Um, I would actually have liked Vercoin to stay low until the market's really turned up and then made its move. But Ver if Vercoin goes here, then that means Litecoin and Bitcoin are going to go. Okay, so if Vercoin breaks out here and breaks this uh, you know resistance and goes, because it usually goes before Litecoin. So if Vercoin goes, then you know Litecoin's coming. <laughs> okay, so just watch Vercoin here, because if it gets a MACD cross and it goes into the power zone and it just explodes, then that means Litecoin's next. Okay, and if, if Litecoin's next, that means Bitcoin is going with it. Um, okay, so let's see. Ripple, okay, Ripple's going to probably close below, above this uh, 50-day moving average again. So good sign there. The bulls are buying the dip on Ripple, and it's holding steady here. Neutral signs there, uh, just holding steady right now is Ripple, okay? Giving us some giving us some dojis here. So we'll see how this plays out for Ripple. Right now we're at $1.36. So, you know, people have been buying. We do have a low high. Uh, here's your high right there on that wick. And we got a higher low pattern intact. So, you know, now we need to see a higher high. And that's going to be, we're going to have to come right up here. So this is going to give us a higher high. 176, 174, you know, 175 will give us a higher high. Barely. So what we want to do is we really want to see a clear higher high, which will put us right over this 50-day moving, well, 30-day moving average, which will be about 184, okay? So we need to come up here and get a higher high. Um, okay, Zcash, nice green day for Zcash today, 453 bucks, okay, it did keep that low, high, higher low pattern intact on the wicks there, and even on the candle as well, so everything's in clear, now we need to come up here and create a higher high for, for uh, and maybe right up here, you know, come right back up here to 622 bucks. Now, Zcash moves fast, right? You guys already know. This thing moves fast. When it's ready to go, it goes. And so, you know, we could see a massive explosion back to 700 at any time. So just watch out for Zcash. It moves very, very fast. There's not a lot of supply, and that's one of the reasons why. Um, okay, interesting that Zencash is down right now. Let me see Zencash. Okay, so Zencash is down. It's at 36 bucks, and uh, okay, so Zencash is uh, struggling a little bit here, and uh, maybe we'll get a MACD cross tomorrow, and we'll get a nice big move back up here into 50 $60 range. It usually doesn't stay down here long, and it's been down here for a little bit, um, way too longer than it would like to. Usually doesn't look at that. It doesn't stay down here long at all. So this is the buying zone, right? Because it doesn't stay here. You just I just showed you the chart. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't stay down here long at all. So, and you can go back here. Look at that. It's just not doesn't stay underneath the 50-day moving average long. So, when it's underneath here, it's a good time to buy um, Zencash. But of course, it all depends on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is done uh, and at least going to at least stabilize, then Zencash is it's about to make a massive move back up because it doesn't stay down here long. Um, according to the trend, right? We got to look at the trend. Nothing. The future isn't guaranteed, but the trend looks good. Um, okay, so NXT people are taking their profits today, uh, which is a good sign. Take your profits on there. You know what I mean? Uh, bearish, huge bearish chart came in. Look at that huge bearish chart. Okay, so taking people are taking their profits here, and, and uh, good, good taking your profits. Here. I might take this off and put something else on there, uh, especially if you guys tell me that you guys are done with this one. So if you're done with NXT, just let me know in the comment section if you're taking your profits here. And you're done with it, okay? So it's not really a popular one. It was one that was getting an airdrop, so I don't really need to talk about NXT anymore because a lot of you guys are not in it anymore. And uh, if you guys took your profits here, uh, then let me know in the comment section, and I'll remove it, and I'll either put something else um, or uh, or just take it off. Let's see here. Okay, so Cardano actually closed below. It's going to close below this 30-day moving average. And it's going to give us a reversal candle. So it's pretty interesting. Um, what I want to see Cardano do is actually come here and touch this 50-day moving average and then and bounce off of this and then give us like a V-shape, like come like this, touch that 50-day moving average, come right back up, and then to this 30-day moving average, and then give us a reversal and then absolutely explode right back up here. That would be awesome to see. That's what I want to see. 
It almost did something like that here. You can see how it went down like a, almost, it tried to create like a V shape here. It gave us this, you know, the, this, uh, you know, this long wick with, 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 with the bulls buying it back up and then it exploded the next day, right? So I want to see that here. I want to see it come down here, touch this 50, come back up, give us another reversal and then explode upward. So let's see if that if it happens like that. But right now we're neutral signs here for uh, Cardano. ADA. I like this one. And I I need to be in. I'm I'm trying to wait. You know. I mean, look, it could explode tomorrow. Like you know, like it could. This could be like a fake out, right? It could explode up tomorrow uh, on us, right? And that would be crazy, right? But I really would love it to come down here and touch this, touch this. Uh, you know, by the time it came down here, it might be like four thousand. What is this? What, what is this? Four thousand? Yeah, four thousand satoshis. I would love for Cardano to come to 4,000 Satoshis, come right back up, give us another reversal, and just go parabolic, right? That is what I would want to happen, but it could, it could go parabolic tomorrow, <laughs> okay? So I can't really, you know, you know, anything down here is a, it's a, it's, it's a gold mine, right, for Cardano. Like, and look, it's going green right now. So anyways, let's see what happens with that one, but that's, that's going to be a good one. Um... Let's see here. GTO just holding steady over this 30 day moving average, which is a good sign. We are oversold and we're looked like we're going to get a buy signal here within the next 72 hours. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, if we get a nice big green day tomorrow again. Um, let's see here. Breadcoin. Okay, so Breadcoin's trying to reverse itself back up. We got a low, high, higher low pattern intact for Breadcoin. And uh, so, yeah, so here we go. So if we can get a MACD cross on Breadcoin, uh, we're going to see a higher high and we're going to start our wave, our massive wave three. OK, so we want to get this massive wave three. Now, of course, this all depends on Bitcoin, right? <laughs> you know, if we're if Bitcoin's bottom is in, then we're going to start. We're going to see Breadcoin go to massive wave three. And also that partnership deal news is going to come out during this massive wave three as well um so we'll see we got we got our bread coin so we were in um most of us okay so district zero x uh closed above below the start of day moving average and now it's just holding steady here and it's also neutral oversold on the uh you know the macd lines here so yeah let's see it is holding a you know low high higher low pattern is intact still uh we don't want it to fall below this line here though which is uh 13 oh, 1318 so as long as we stay above that we got this pattern intact that means we're going to see a higher high here at some point you know for district ox which is dnt and then uh we have solar coin okay barely hanging on to that 30-day moving average let's see if we let's see if we close either below it or right at it or above it you know, it's fighting right now it's fighting to close above that 30-day moving average if it falls below, if it closes below it, of course we're gonna we're gonna drop, and we're probably gonna come down here. If we stay above it or close right on it, then we'll probably, you know, maybe come up a little bit tomorrow and get some breathing room. Okay, I don't know. So we got one of these, and we're going down. Okay, we got one here. We went down. We got another one. We went down. Okay, so if we see if we see a smaller one, which is you know like a regular reversal candle you know, right here, then we're going to go right back up, okay, so just watch out for that for solar coin, it's not, the run's not over, you know, it made a nice big run here, it's, it's coming down now, you can do A, B, C pattern, you know, the C's a little bit longer than we exp we wanted to, but it, we're in the FUD market right now, so A, B, C, and then we're going to correct ourselves and maybe start wave three, uh, so, which will be a good wave, uh which would be a massive way for sell solar coin okay so that's it 33 minutes um i have talked enough so let's go here and check out the ones i didn't talk about and this air swap and let's see what it's looking like 94 cents right now okay and let's look at you know i already talked about adex but let me just check out the on the us dollar side it's probably like one one something yeah 189 and then also bars, titanium bars. Is it down today? Okay, it is down today. 224, hopefully it's up tomorrow.
So 224 for that. Some people are taking their 100% profits. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't take 100% profits on this. I mean, I'm looking for, I'm looking for, you know, 10,000%, you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking for 1,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 to 100,000% profits on, on, on titanium. I'm not looking for 100%, but some people are. Some people get in. Some people get into ICOs and they get a. They see 100% profit. They take it and they move on to something else. That's how some people work, and that's fine. Um, ETN. Let's check out ETN. See what. Okay, 12 cents. Okay. Uh, can't wait till it's on hit BTC, which is should be this week. And I'm, I'm thinking Michael said that he he has some more announcements coming this week as well. Okay. So Crotopia, it's on. Uh, USDT and uh, BTC right now, so no ETH or LTC uh, and no Dogecoin either. So it's only on Cryptopia. It's limited, you know. So hopefully this week we're on hit BTC. And uh, Michael said, I think he said that they are having another announcement coming. So I'm hoping it's Binance, you know what I mean, for February. Um, so hopefully they got to deal with Binance, Bittrex, and Poloniacs or something. I don't know. You know the big three. Um, okay, so, or BitThumb would be awesome, okay, BitThumb would be legendary, if we can get BitThumb, uh, I think that is it, I know I'm missing something, people are probably like, yo, check this one out, please, <laughs> um, I know I'm missing something right now, Pillar, did I check Pillar, 109 is Pillar, okay, and because I know I miss a lot of, I know I'm missing stuff, let me just go through the top 100, for you guys i already did check cloak on the chart so i don't need to check that one so let's check out the top 100 and we'll be done and you can see ethereum right there uh trying to get back over a thousand dollars is right on the edge um stellar looks good eos neo iota bitcoin gold i'm hurting on that bitcoin gold my i bought two i bought a high man you know what i mean now i gotta wait and i was gonna wait anyways i you know because i think it's gonna be out of the coin base later this year um, miso go tether bitcoin status waves. I like waves, guys. I like waves, you know. I don't have any, but I like it. Um, 0x 162 doge coin, doggy coin, whatever you want to call it. 0 0.006. I, I got some more yesterday. Um, and this is all free from the faucets, you know. I'm, I'm taking my faucet, and let me repeat myself, I'm taking my faucet profits. From Bitcoin Cash, from the Moon Cash, B Cash, uh, from the from the uh, Litecoin, from the uh, Bitcoin, and from the uh, what else is there? I'm missing one. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, and you know, so I'm taking my profits from all of the faucets, and I'm converting it over to Dogecoin. So that's what I'm doing. So if you guys, you don't have to use your own money, you can just do it for free. Okay. So Pivx, nice up 40s percent so on binance now so pivot's looking good and we got the rest of these coins man imagine what's gonna look what these coins are gonna look like by freaking may i mean it's gonna be unbelievable unbelievable what this is gonna look like in may this is nothing these are all like dollars and 70 cents in may they're gonna be like 15 20 30 50 dollars 10x pay by may what do you think it's gonna be the price for that one right uh, you know, it could be 50 bucks, like it could be 30, 40, 50 bucks, right? And we'd be sitting here like, you know, we had we had golden opportunities to get in a pillar, 10x pay, uh, substratum, you know, at $1, $2, and by May, June, there, these things are at 50 bucks, right? That would be incredible, but that's what's going to happen. <laughs> that's what, And so we saw that happen last year. Well, a whole bunch of them, right? You know, at two, three bucks, and we we were all looking at them, and then they all went up to like freaking, you know, a hundred dollars by the end of the year last year. So yeah, man. So that's what it's gonna look like, man. We're gonna a lot of these coins are gonna be up significantly in the month of May and June. A uh, month month of May, and then June we're gonna see a June, July, August. We're going to see <laughs> massive red, right? Because of summer, a lot of people aren't on their computers. Uh, a lot of people taking money to go on vacations and just not a lot of activity, right? Uh, only, only like three, four for the people aren't aren't that are that do cryptos daily aren't on the computer every day anymore. They're on vacation, so you know 
that is what it is. So I, you know, that's why I said I'm here till till June first, and uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> step away from the computer. Uh, if Mike and Crypto Gamer and Omar still post videos, I will. I can post the videos for you guys. You know, I can post their videos on my channel. But for me personally, uh, you know, I'm not going through that. Like, I'm not going through that like I did last year. I ain't going through that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am not going through that. Okay. Uh, that was painful. <laughs> and it lasted June, July, and August. I ain't going through that this year. So you guys want to go through that? That's fine. But, you know, I'm not going to do it. Okay. So peace out, everybody. God bless. Bye.